Almost two weeks have passed since the release of the GeForce GTX 1080 benchmarks, and well, it's time to do it all over again. By that, I mean benchmark a shipload of games, but this time using the much more wallet-friendly... GTX 1070. The format for this review will remain the same as before, so once again, rather than dredging up all that info you already know or simply don't care about, I'm going to quickly get on with the benchmarks. I've got a variety of other 1070 themed videos coming up, including an overclocking guide and more, so once again there'll be plenty of coverage and information. For those wanting to know more about the core and memory config, please check out this video from a few days ago. It pretty much covers everything you need to know about the hardware. For those wanting a quick recap, the 1070 has one of the four graphics processing clusters disabled, which reduces the streaming multiprocessors from 20 to 15, and subsequently the CUDA cores from 2560 to 1920. The only other real change sees the GDDR5X 10 gigabits per second memory downgraded to GDDR5 8 gigabits per second for a 20% reduction in memory bandwidth. Now we know the GTX 1070 costs.